Okay, so we are gonna talk about the newest play mode on the MLM2 Pro, which is target range. We've been really excited about this one. People love practicing different targets uh, within our Rapsodo range, and we kind of elevated it to our target range with a bunch of different targets, fairways, greens, you can hit to here. So I'm already connected to the MLM2 Pro. Um, you can play the target range in either direct or local mode. And I'm gonna click into target range here. So I'm hitting into the net, but you could also do this at the range. Uh, I'm using the Callaway RPT golf ball. I'm gonna keep it at sea level um, and high graphics quality. And then this is where the kind of the target range starts. So you can see here on the right, this is the environment we're gonna be in, the range, a uh, bunch of different greens, there's some wedge targets, uh, there's four different fairways you can choose from. So it's really up to you on what you wanna select here. We have three different tee boxes. You'll see here on the bottom where the right dot moves is you can kind of be in the center, the right and the left. And what that does is it gives you a different perspective on the driving range, as well as different yardages uh, to hit to at the greens or wedge targets. As well as we have kind of different fairway targets here that you see that are highlighted. So short left, right, and short right. So this is a great place for you to practice hitting hybrid off the tee, your three wood, uh, your driver, and kind of can select those different ones. I'm gonna kind of go through a little warm up session so we can test them out here. I haven't hit any balls, so I'm gonna start here with something short. I'm gonna go with kind of the 37 or maybe the 43, and you can see that the greens will have a couple different pins on them here. So let's just kind of start with a 43 yard uh, pitch shot here. I'm gonna select my club so that they're labeled later. And I'm just gonna click the lob wedge here. So again, we got our alignment prompt. I'm already set up, set up well here. So I'm gonna start the session. So as we get loose here, we kind of see, kind of roll out on the green there. And where you're gonna see is you're gonna see the target number at the top left, so 43 yards, I carried it 29, uh, total 37. Um, so for this one, I'm not trying to land it all the way there, 43, unless I had a ton of spin on it. So what I'm looking for, uh, proximity was 19. I'm gonna hit a couple shots here. So you can see the differences here because as you'll see on the right we're going to get the shots um, plotted as well as you kind of see some metrics best shot average proximity average carry things like that what's great about this is you can kind of see to the your best proximity but you could also have kind of a little closest to the pin challenge with your friends um, against their proximity so as you see here, we're getting starting to get some plotted two of two shots. So as I kind of warm up, um, I'm going to want to select a different target here. You're going to click on the little flag in the bottom left. I'm going to start going maybe to, let's move to the center. Let's choose 66 yards. So these wedge targets are pretty small little greens there. They're designed to be small because we're really working on trying to land those uh, wedge shots that exact distance there. So let's go with 66. Sixty six yards there. All right, got it a little short there. But it's supposed to be tough. Landed at 57, I'm looking at landing at 66. If we click down here in the bottom left, it'll replay the last shot that you hit. And notice we have the metrics here at the bottom, but if you wanna click in and see a lot more of the metrics, you can do that as well. And then in the bottom left, we also have the menu bar, which is gonna show things, changing your metrics, replaying your shot, if you want the audio on or off. Uh, alignments in case you kind of need to reposition the device, uh, different target settings or if you need to kind of leave the session. But as you can see, there's a lot of different targets on there, but we do kind of have the white flag that's highlighting the target you're looking for uh, at the range. Let's hit one more at the 66 yard target.
That one was a little too much, 78. So you, need, you can see I need to work on my wedges, zero of two hit. Let's change it up again here and kind of take a different look at some of the other targets here. Let's go to the one on the right. This is a 75 yard wedge shot here. All right, I hit the last one 78. So this one's probably, see if I can do the same swing again. That one felt pretty good. So you can see the numbers there as we're kind of looking, I'm seeing the launch angle I want. Again, you can replay it. Let's pick a little longer target now. Um, we'll go to the 138 one. And again, if you kind of wanted to change the numbers, change the viewpoint, you can go to the right here. It's gonna change the distance a little better, but maybe you can see the target a little better on there. What I've kind of found, and this is I think personal, is you're kind of wondering when do I use the Rapsodo range? When do I use the target range? For me personally, the Rapsodo range is a great way if I'm like working on something on my swing, if I wanna really check in on the numbers, see what the ball flight's doing. And then target range is a great way for me to actually put, you know, a little pressure on it, make, make practice a little bit more fun because I'm actually seeing the result of a shot with some kind of consequence. If it's, you know, this one here, if I miss hit it, it's gonna go in the water. I can see the proximity to my target and it feels a little bit more like I'm um, playing on the course versus the other one's just more of a good, good warm up, but no real consequence in there. Take that one all day, 13 feet. All right, I'm gonna miss hit one here on purpose so we can kind of see what would happen if you didn't hit the green. You're gonna see splash. So you're still gonna see your data metrics if it hits in the water. Obviously, you're not gonna have a difference of the, you know, the carry is just gonna be where it lands because it's going in the water, it's not rolling from there. So that's also a different, different part of target range versus rep soda range is every shot in rep soda range is gonna roll out, maybe spin backwards. This one is really reacting to the environment in terms of some of your numbers here. Um, but you can still get all your data even with a shot in the water. Let's change to another target here. Um, Let's look at um, one of the, let's see, let's look at one of the fairways here. So you might want to be working on your driver. Uh, you know, you can't go to the course, you're at home, you're hitting it good on the range, but need a little pressure, water left here. Let's see if we can hit the fairway. So again, it's going to highlight your fairway here. We don't have a target distance there, so it's just going to show your carry in total at the top, and you're going to kind of see all your metrics here at the bottom. Left. Is it going to hang up? Stay up there. Got it on. But you can see the draw shot shape. And this fairway is kind of almost encouraging you to hit a little draw here. And if you wanted to work on maybe a fade, let's see if we can change the... Um, I don't want to work on a fade with the water left there. So I'm going to change the target. Let's go to the right fairway. And you can kind of almost kind of visualize hitting that cut around the rough here. and see if we can pull off the fade. So fade, we want that spin axis to be positive. I don't think I did it there. Oh, I did. Get over the bunker. So target range is a really great feature to kind of hone in your wedges your irons, but also driver to kind of simulate hitting different tee shots uh, into different fairways. So check it out, target range, newest feature on the MLM2 Pro. Mm -hmm.